Welcome to today's video. In this video, we are going to show you how to make scatter charts or scatter plots in Excel. So scatter plots are used to um, show the relationships between two variables. It uses dots to do so. So that means that you have to have two columns. You have your, in our case here, we have the date column and we have the transaction column. So the idea is we will plot dots that correspond to the position of the dates and the transaction in the chart. So in Excel, this is actually very easy. You simply have to highlight your data. And then once you've highlighted all your data, you go to insert. And then under insert, you should see there a scatter chart or an X or Y chart. So the scatter chart would be the first group. So we have here one without the line. And we can click that and we're done. Okay, so that's actually how simple it is to make a scatter plot. If you want to modify elements of it, then you can simply click on the plus sign and you can have the grid lines disappear or maybe have a trend line show up. So when you check the trend line, you have the option to choose what kind of trend line you want to add to your scatter chart. But overall, it's already done. And this one, for example, shows me a very scattered or a very high variance okay, or difference between my two variables. A scatter chart that plots uh, two variables that are very related to one another would be not so scattered like this. So for example, I'll show you. So let's say that I'll start with January 1st. And then let's have a number here that simply adds the same number and then plus five. So you will have the same number or the same interval all throughout. So the numbers are very related to one another. They have the same pattern. So when you create a scatter chart out of this, then you would create a very straight line like this. So meaning the X and Y axis are very related to one another. They're not scattered, okay, as the um, scatter chart implies. And there you go. That's what scatter charts are for. It can be used to see how, uh, how how's the relationship between two variables. It can also be used in regression analysis, which we will do in another video. But for now, that's it. And see you in the next one.